Hey guys, let's start the 36th episode of Daily Football News and know what has happened in the past 24 hours. Jadon Sanko moved to Manchester United. What is the problem with Mbappé? What does Lukaku want from Ronaldo's? And Sufati waiting for an okay from the doctors. Let's quickly find out all of these in this video. Before starting this video don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon. Let's start today's video with yesterday's fixtures and their results. Netherlands and Portugal are out of Euro 2020 as they suffered defeat in yesterday round of 16 matches. Czech Republic beat Netherlands by the goals to nil in a nail-biting encounter. Belgium defeated Portugal by one goals to nil in nail-biting encounter. Brazil and Ecuador hailed 1-1 draw. Peru beat Venezuela by one goal to nil. The Red Devils are close to an agreement with Dortmund. Manchester United are close to sealing the signing of Jadon Sanko. Football Insider says the Red Devils have reached a personal agreement with the England International and are close to striking a deal worth 77.5 million euros with Borussia Dortmund. Aston Villa are preparing to make a big offer for Chelsea striker Tammy Abraham, according to the Mirror. The Blues are willing to sell the striker this summer and many clubs have been linked, but Villa hope to win the race to land him. Barcelona are stepping up their attempts to commit Lionel Messi to a new contract. BBC Sport reports. The Argentine's contract is up in for days and the Catalan side are confident of convincing him to pen a new two-year deal. England manager Gareth Southgate is set to be offered a new contract. 90 Minutes claims the Football Association want him to stay in charge beyond the 2020 to World Cup in Qatar, and are ready to discuss a deal with him. Premier League champions could move for him this summer. Manchester City are interested in signing Rhys James from Chelsea, says The Athletic. The England international has caught Pep Guardiola's attention with his performances and is on their list of targets. Inter are also eyeing Spain international. Barcelona have Marcos Alonso in their sights. Mundo Deportivo claims the Spanish side hope to sign the defender should they let Junior Firpo go this summer. Barca have tried to sign him before and are not the only team interested in him this time around, as Inter could move for him too. AC Milan have sat down to discuss a move with Santos star Caio Jorge says Calcio Mercado. The club executives held talks with the player's agent and could make a 10 million euros move. But he is not a priority at the moment as they look to invest in other transfers. Italy set a new national record after extending their unbeaten run to 31 games with a 2-1 extra time win against Austria in the last 16 of Euro 2020. Roberto Mancini's side equaled the record that has stood since 1939 with a 1-0 win over Wales in their final group game last weekend, but surpassed it with a hard-earned victory at Wembley on Saturday. The game finished goalless after 90 minutes, but strikes from Federico Chiesa and Matteo Pessina were enough to send the Atsuri through to the last eight, despite Sasa Kalajic's header ending a run of 1,168 minutes, without conceding a goal. Mancini's side have broken a record that has stood for 82 years. Ivan Perisic will miss Croatia's Euro 2020 last 16 tie against Spain on Monday after testing positive for coronavirus. Croatia are due to take on Spain at Parken Stadium in Copenhagen, but will do so without inter-winger Perisic following the latest results of tests within the national team camp. The Croatian Football Association released a statement which read, During the evening, the Croatian Football Association received the results of regular testing for the coronavirus, which showed that national team member Ivan Perisic was positive for coronavirus. Tottenham are closing in on a move for Bologna's defender Takehiro Tomiyasu, according to The Sun. Spurs have been busy working on a 15 million euros deal for the Japan international even though they have yet to appoint a new manager. The 22-year-old has impressed since joining Bologna from St. Truden in 2019 but is believed to be keen on a move to the Premier League. Jadon Sanko is set to earn a huge pay rise by moving to Manchester United, reports the star. The England international will earn around 250,000 euros a week at Old Trafford, a significant increase on the 100,000 euros a week he picks up at Borussia Dortmund. The Red Devils are believed to be closing in on a 72 million euros move for the 21-year-old, with a deal potentially announced in the next two weeks. Bournemouth winger Arnaud Donjuma could be on his way to Germany this summer, says Vopel International. The 24-year-old is currently wanted by Wolfsburg, but they are not the only Champions League team monitoring him. Donjuma still has three years left on his contract at the Cherries. Raheem Sterling has been left frustrated with Manchester City after they were prepared to include him in any potential deal for Tottenham's Harry Kane, reports The Mirror. The former Liverpool winger is believed to be among a number of players City are willing to offer to Spurs in part exchange for England captain Kane. Sterling, however, is not happy with his treatment and, should he stay at the Etihad, may not sign an extension to his current deal, which has two years to run. Red Devils to make move for Teenage France International Manchester United are considering a move for Ren starlet Eduardo Camavinga, reports the Mail. The Red Devils missed out on Jude Bellingham to Borussia Dortmund last year but see Camavinga as a more than capable alternative.
The 18-year-old is considered one of the most promising young midfielders in Europe, having already been capped three times by France. AC Milan are close to agreeing a deal to sign Barcelona fullback junior Firpo, according to Sport. Discussions had been believed to have stalled as Milan favored a loan move, while Barca wanted a permanent deal. However, a compromise has been reached that will see the defender move to the Rossoneri on loan with an agreement in place to sign him permanently next year. Barcelona will make a move for Valencia's Jose Luis Gaia if Jordi Alba leaves this summer, according to Marca. Inter Milan are believed to be keen on Spain international Alba, and if they press ahead with their interest then Gaia is high on Barca's wanted list. Alba is currently one of Barca's highest earners, so replacing him with Gaia would also ease some of their financial difficulties. Arsenal are keen on PSV youngster Noni Matiki, and are expected to step up their interest this summer reports Toto Fish Agents. The 19-year-old England under-21 international, who began his youth career at Tottenham, impressed for PSV during a breakthrough season in the Eredivisie last term, that has unsurprisingly led to interest from a number of clubs, with Arsenal poised to make a formal bid. Now, let's move towards the major news of the day. Kylian Mbappé may be one of the best players on the planet, but Jerome Rothen claims the Paris Saint-Germain forward's ego has become problematic and can no longer be managed by France boss Didier Deschamps. Rothen, who won 13 caps for his country and figured in their squad at Euro 2004, has told RMC Sport of Mbappé that he is the leader on the pitch, no problem, that his ego goes off the field too, that bothers me. I think Didier Deschamps can no longer manage it and it is problematic. It is even surprising that he lets Kylian Mbappé do so many things. It can be seen in his performances on the pitch. Today, we cannot say that Kylian Mbappé has had a successful Euros. Is he in the right frame of mind like he was at PSG throughout the end of the season? I would say no. We expect much better from Kylian Mbappé. Everyone thinks that Mbappé is one of the best players in Europe. But if you immediately put him in the category of the very best, you cannot be satisfied. Arjun Robin has not decided if he will continue to play for Groningen next season. The winger came out of retirement to feature for his boyhood team last year, but played a limited role because of injury. Arjun has not yet made a decision about his future. Until then, he will follow his own program. Technical director Mark Jan Fletteris said, We keep in touch with each other about this and give him as a club all the time and space to make a well-considered choice about his future. Romelu Lukaku claims Cristiano Ronaldo would like to have his power, with the Inter striker determined to put his skill set to good. Lukaku has told reporters when asked if facing Ronaldo on a domestic stage has helped to take his game to greater heights. On the personal level, Yes. I would like to have his dribble and the way he kicks the ball. He would like to have my power. Ansu Fadi is progressing well since the operation he underwent a month and a half ago in Porto, as he continues to recover from the knee injury he suffered last November. The 18-year-old is currently undergoing treatment with a physiotherapist in Madrid, but he is in constant contact with Barcelona's medical team. Recent reports suggest that Ansu Fadi could slowly return to preseason with the first team, but a final decision will be made in the coming days. This could finally be the light at the end of the tunnel for the promising forward. And although his recovery is slow, everything is going according to plan. Ansu Fadi will of course have to work at his own pace, having been out of action since November 7th. But he is waiting for the go-ahead from doctors. He has not yet renewed his contract at the club, but he is thought of as one of the most promising prospects at the Camp Nou. One of the players in Frank de Boer's squad is Daily Blind, who was part of the Netherlands' last great tournament adventure when they finished third at the 2014 World Cup in Brazil. Blind's journey to this summer's tournament hasn't been a simple one, however, with the defender having suffered a similar incident to what happened to his ex-Ajax teammate Christian Eriksen. The Denmark midfielder left hospital a week ago after an operation in which doctors implanted a heart-starting defibrillator device to prevent him having a similar incident in the future. What happened to Eriksen will have reminded Blind of his own difficulties, and just how fragile life is. After the Netherlands star was told in 2019 that problems had been detected in his heart, which he subsequently overcame. Everyone told me that it was over and that I couldn't play football again, said Blind after the episode with Ericsson. Look where I am now. This is why I'm asking everyone to leave Ericsson in peace. What will be the score in upcoming fixtures in Euro 2020 in Copa America between Spain vs Croatia, France vs Switzerland, England vs Germany, Uruguay vs Paraguay, Bolivia vs Argentina? Comment down your predictions. This was the end for our 36th episode. We will be back with more interesting news and transfer rumors tomorrow. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon.